Hello everybody and welcome to another Python 3 tutorial video. Uh, this video is going to be all about a module called CX Freeze, and actually this module is not a part of your standard library. This is a third party module and the idea of this module is to convert your Python scripts into executable scripts. So just like making Windows, um, not everybody cares to do this, but some people want to be able to distribute their programs to others and actually distribute them in a compiled form that makes it a little bit harder for someone to steal uh, your work maybe, um, but also it helps because if you say you want to share your program with somebody, you don't want to be like, you know, hey, check out this cool graphing program, uh, just download Python, matplotlib, numpy6, pi parsing, date util, you know what I'm saying, like, you don't have to tell them like, hey, do all this stuff and then you can use my little Python script that I made for myself. No, it'd be ni much nicer to be able to be like, here, here's a zip file, unzip it, run, you know, you know, runme.exe or whatever, and uh, there's your, you know, my script for you. So that's what we're here to talk about today, and uh, for Python 2.7, uh, there's a module called py2exe, but from what I found, you there's no like three Python three support there. Apparently, you can like edit it or something, and then you can use it. But CX Freeze does the exact same thing, so why bother? So that's what we're going to be using today is CX Freeze. Now, uh, again, it's a third-party module, so we're going to have to go find it, download it, install it, and we can use it. Now, luckily, as uh, as makes a whole lot of sense, there is a .exe installer for CX Freeze, so it's very simple. So what you're going to want to do to get it is you're going to head over to your favorite google.com and you're going to want to come down here and go to their main website. Just search for CX space freeze. Basically the name freeze, it's freezing your program into an executable. So uh, just for some background. So click on freeze <clears throat> and then you'll come down here and it'll say download and install. Latest version was released May 3rd, 2014. So as you can see, this is under active development. Nice. You can use pip install, but we can also install it directly from PyPy for Python package index. Come over here and you see there's all sorts of things that we can use this Python wheel. I have never used a Python wheel before. And in fact, maybe someone comment below if you know what the hell a Python wheel is. Uh, .whl. Anyway, someone let me know what a Python wheel is, or I might Google it or something. But we're going to use Microsoft Windows installer for Python 3.4. So we'll download that. Still have my pillow <laughs> down there. Uh, install it. Uh, maybe pause the video while you're installing. Um, should be a pretty quick installation. By the time I'm done saying this sentence, you should be done installing it if you did uh, immediately run that. So once you're done there, uh, we'll just minimize this. Who was that sexy guy? Uh, and now uh, we're ready to start uh, programming. So the way that this works is first you're going to create something that you want to be distributed. Now for me, I just kind of want to use a program that we've already written. Um, so I'm going to go back through here and let's take our URL lib tutorial. Uh, so bring that up. And so this was the the code from the URL lib tutorial video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just copy this code and paste this code into here. Um, and the idea here is just to show that we can use um, you know a, a module with this. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to search Google, it's going to get some results, it's going to fake some headers for us, and I guess it's going to print, maybe I don't want to use this one. Um, hmm, hmm, I wanted something a little easier, more basic, we'll see, what do we got here? Yeah, let's use this code instead, so I want to copy and paste this code into here. Um, if you want this code, I'll put a link to the description uh, for this exact code. I'll put it on my website uh, so people can use it. Um, just in case you don't know, all sample code is posted on pythonprogramming.net. So this code and all like all of the code from my at least recent videos and a lot of the older videos is up there, just in case you're wanting it. So what this code does is it uses URL lib, visits pythonprogramming.net, and basically just parses paragraph text from it. Okay. So using actually, so we're using URL lib, regular expressions, so a lot of Python only stuff, regular expressions, and all of that. And we're going to convert this to an executable that anybody can run without needing Python 3.4 reg or the RE module installed on their computer, URL lib, all this stuff. So cool, fancy. 
So, um, so we'll use this code. Like I said, if you don't have this code or you've got your own code, you use your own code if you want to convert your own code to exe, or you can use this just for example. Um, so this is our distributed file that we want to use. So I'm going to come over here. This is what I'm programming in right now. It's distme. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. That saved it to uh, distme. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'll close out of this. And now I'm just going to copy and paste distme. And we're going to call this file setup. And it's going to be setup.py. Open that up. And adjust, adjust. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, like that and now what we want to do is I'm gonna clear everything okay so so we're now in setup.py okay so we've got two folders in here we've got distme which is basically distribute me and then setup.py distme is containing the code that I want to distribute and now setup.py is going to be used um, to tell CX freeze how to distribute this basically so our setup.py file needs the following so first of all we want to do from CX underscore Oops, CX underscore capital F freeze. From that, import setup and executable. Okay. Now, what we're going to want to do is we have to define a bunch of stuff here. So, basically, we need to define um, what are we going to um, turn into an executable, what do we want to call that executable, and uh, you can give some other information. You can give descriptions. You can give a version number, for example. So we'll do those those two things, I suppose. So what we're going to do is we're going to say setup. And then within setup, you put a, basically a list of stuff. So we're going to say name equals, uh, we'll, we'll continue calling it distme. And this is basically, distme is the name of the exe. So you can call it anything you wanted. You could say dist, uh, we could say uh, URL parse. Okay. Um, comma and now let's do version this is our very first version beta version 0 0.1 nice uh, description uh, equals you know, parse stuff for me put whatever you want in there and then finally um, what we want to use is this executables command and so we're gonna basically this is what we convert to an executable so executables equals and then square brackets for our list and then we're going to use executable. So we're referencing this executable. And we're ex turning into an executable distme.py. And that's it. So this is our setup.py file. So we can save that. And now we can close that. And um, now we've got our distme and a setup.py. Now, what you can do uh, to make this easy is, for example, my file here is located, you know, desktop, syntax license, Python 3, Python 3.4.4, CX free, CX tutorial. If I come back here, this is where I'm coding in, so I can literally write or use the let, hold down shift, right click, and open the command window here. So that opens up this pretty thing. Now, what we can do is run, uh, we use Python as our command, python setup.py build. And you have to use this in the in the in the um, directory that you that this file is in. If it's not, you don't have to say Python setup.py build. You could say Python, you know, c colon slash uh, users desktop. Uh, you know, and let's say it was on the desktop. You know, setup.py build. You could do that. So you don't have to you know be in the same directory, but it helps. It makes it easier to type. So setup.py build. So we hit enter. And we wait, hopefully this runs. Let's see, execute, okay, we typoed executable. So let's head over uh, to setup here. Right click, exec, okay, executable. Save it, executables, executable. Okay, hopefully this will run this time. Um, come back over here and literally just hit the up arrow for me anyway. Maybe your build worked because you know how to spell. Uh, anyway, so that's it. You should get this massive amount of um, gobbledygook that comes out. Um, so we'll go ahead and minimize this for now. Or we'll just move it over, I guess. And now you should have a folder called build. Click on build, and then you've got this exe win amd 64 3.4. And within there, you have distme. So we can click on distme, and basically what we get here is we run it, and it it visits my website, found 27 search results, basics, 
Um, so it's searching. Um, basically, my what it did, I guess, actually, what it's doing is it searches basics on my Python programming.net. Um, and then it basically what it did is print out um, all of our paragraph data from the website. But anyway, as you can see, though, is we were able to run all of this with an exe. And so, really, you could send this to your friend, right? We could send someone if they've got a 64 bit 3.4 uh, Windows machine, they could go here, click on Disk Me, and they could run this program. If they've never installed Python, they don't have URL lib, regular expressions, anything, they will still be able to run this. And that's because in here <laughs> is where they get all of the data that they really truly need. Um, it's all located in here. So, um, that should be it uh, as far as using any any sort of either CX freeze. Uh, Pi to EXE is very similar uh, as well, but this was with CX freeze. And that's it. It's pretty simple. For most packages, you can get away with this. If the package also has a GUI with like Teak Hinter and or is very graphical based, uh, you might have some trouble with it. Um, like matplotlib, it's very difficult to get matplotlib to work with Pi to EXE or even CX freeze. But as far as your typical program is concerned, you know you should have no problem with this. It should just take all the modules and, and run. Um, matplotlib has an issue with um, when to run specific things, and that's what what makes it fail. But anyway, um, that should be it for this one. If you guys have any questions or comments, something not working out for you, or you couldn't get this far, uh, please feel free to leave them below. If I forget to link to uh, this in the uh, description. Uh, remind me and I'll put a link to it in the descriptions so you can use my code but I encourage you to use whatever code you want to convert to a uh, exe really shouldn't matter maybe you can find some more code that you're having trouble with um, that for whatever reason isn't converting to a uh, exe so uh, that's going to conclude this video if you guys um, like I said questions or comments leave them below as always thanks for watching thanks for all the support and subscriptions and until next time